You know, right now it is safe to say that Warzone 2 is the game that gets shit on the absolute most. Some of it, well most of it, is justified. From dev errors to the lack of communication from the dev studios explaining simple things to us and if these things are features or bugs. For example, if you're flying through the air and you get knocked, you don't die from fall damage. Is that a bug or is that a feature? And well, most of the time when you go over on a, a website like Twitter, it's doom and gloom. And well, now it's no different. Over the week, Encourage asked the Courageous his community, if you are a casual fan of COD content and have less interest in Warzone 2 videos, why do you think that is? I believe he asked this because most of his Warzone 2 content, the views are down across all platforms. Hell, you even had Timmy Tinders retweet Jack's post and adding on to it saying, to anyone creating Warzone 2 content right now, I'm just chiming in here to say that the last couple of Warzone 2 videos that I have uploaded, they have done worse than all the Caldera content, so you're not alone. Personally, I think there's actual decisions that have been made by the developers that have left Warzone 2 in its current anemic form. The first reason, and I think the most obvious reason, is the difficulty within getting your own loadout, your personal loadout within each game. Every time you load in, you just don't feel like you have a personal connection to that game or any of the guns that you're using. I don't care what you say, but having your gun with your camo attachments and doohingies hanging off the side of it, it makes that gun feel more personal and more connected to you, giving you a more engaging time within each game. And currently, as it stands, every gun is five grand, when in the previous war zone, it was 10 grand for a whole loadout. So not only do you get your primary gun, but you'd get your primary, your secondary, and all the perks. You can't even buy that in Warzone 2 right now. And I think the biggest issue with this, at least in my opinion, is we don't know why this decision was ever made. And it would be nice for the studios to be able to come out, kind of like how Halo did, and just explain some of their decisions. I mean, whether the community agrees with it or not, we would have a clear reason as to why or how this decision was made, and I can at least respect that. Because right now, it feels like the developers just looked at where Call of Duty was, the community, and said, I don't like it, and they're trying to build a whole new community from the ground up. The second thing that I think is killing Warzone is how slow the game feels right now. I am not a slide canceling merchant, so don't, I don't even want to see that in the comments, but I do think there needs to be faster ADS speed, and the speed of which you pull your gun up after you slide, it, it, that shouldn't even be a thing. You should be able to shoot while you slide, but if you're not going to allow us to do that, allow it to be a perk at least, but just the, the speed up time needs to be faster, especially after you're diving. I can't tell you how many times I've dove into a spot, got a good position on a, on a, a solo or a duo person, and I could have killed them both, but I'm just sitting there for what feels like two whole seconds just looking at them while they're like, what was that sound? And they look down, they're like, oh shit, brah. It feels like if you try to be flashy or outplay an opponent, this game actually hinders you from doing that. But even if you sped up the strafe speed, the TTK just feels super inconsistent. I am mixed with needing an armor vest to give you three plates. Personally, it would be nice to see whether you have a vest or not. You could do three plates and just adding a vest gives you a purple tier armor, meaning it has a little bit more health with each plate. But I'm okay with where it's at. What I think needs to change is the overall base health. Right now it's at 120, and I think by bumping it up to 150 would not only feel better, but allow you to dip, dodge, dive, duck, dodge, and get into a better position. But as Courage asked his community, I want to flip it to you guys, and I want to ask you, where is your interest in Modern Warfare 2 right now? Is it in multiplayer? Is it in Warzone? Is it in Spec Ops? Or the upcoming raid? And speaking of a raid, as of recording this video, it is December 12th, Monday, and the raid is right around the corner coming out Wednesday, December 14th. But we can't look too far forward because we got to talk about what happened this past weekend, which was the last set of matches for the qualifiers for the CDL. For those of you who are new, the CDL is the Professional Call of Duty League, has 12 franchise teams where they battle it out to see who's going to be the world champion and be the best Call of Duty franchise for that title. And if you look at it, here are the last standings. We have four different groups, A through D. Personally, I think groups B and C are ridiculously tough. It, you do not want to be in these. These are definitely going to be the groups or the brackets of death. However, if you look at C and D, you'll see that LAT, also known as LA Thieves, and LDN, also London Royal Ravens, have an extra match that they have to play to decide what bracket or group they're going to be a part of. Going into this major, I would love to see Optic go back to back and winning the opening major, but I really wouldn't be surprised to see Toronto Ultra come out and win it because during these first two weekends of these qualifiers, they look, in my opinion, the most consistent at least. You know, speaking about this past weekend, how it was an epic weekend of Call of Duty, it wasn't just epic for Call of Duty, but Ludwig, I know you guys know him, the man, the myth, the legend, threw a chess boxing event, and I have to say, 
it was epic all the way around. And I know in the title of this video, I said that there was a robbery at his event. And I don't want to throw any shade at a specific fighter, so we're just going to highlight one. Andrea from Optic Gaming. Unfortunately, she had her victory taken away by her. The worst thing about it is her opponent didn't beat her, but the ref did by throwing the match for the winner until the loser becomes the winner. I mean, during Andrea's fight, she dictated the flow, the tempo, and if we're going to talk about like shots landed, I wasn't counting like each individual punch, but for impactful punches and, and impactful moments during the fight, they were 100% all Andrea's. The good news is it looks like her and her opponent have squashed the beef, and it looks like they're going to have a rematch. This time, no chessing, just straight boxing. Andrea working. It's the tale of Ooh. two sports. Big counter punch landed for, uh, for Dina right over the top. Oh man, I think they're, I think they're both... Getting a bit tired now. Yeah. A bit of a feeling. Oh! oh big oh, overhead. Oh, 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 he says it. And there's a Wow. Stand. This is our big first shot landed. of the match. Standing count. Oh. Okay, great. So first of all, congratulations. I mean, Thank on you. all your hard work, you did such a good job. Thank you. How did it feel with all the love from the fans? You were clearly the favorite in that match. I, honestly, I couldn't hear anything. I was a little bit tilted because I feel like there was one too many stoppages. And un unlike to the other fight, but the people were really supportive no matter what. Dina was an amazing opponent. She worked really hard. I know we should talk, but I respect her much. But the people's support means a lot to me. That's awesome. And you're also one of the few female influencers to do a boxing match. How does that feel? I want to do more of them. I, I said I'd only do more if I won, but at the end of the day, I love boxing. I'm glad this got me into it, and I hope to continue it. What, would you do another chess boxing event in the future? No more chess. <laughs> Thank you so much, Andre. You know, Ludwig's entire event was honestly epic and just, it was fantastic in every way. For me, watching Toast versus Point was amazing because both streamers really just gave it their all and you could see their boxing coaches were there in the side. They were trying to like actually box each other. And ultimately both streamers gave it their all, but it came down to who had the bigger brain and Toast was able to out chess his opponent. You know, I say that that might've been my favorite thing about it. And that was my favorite like, marketed part of the event but if you were there watching it live you saw that ludwig and his co-streamer had a surprise slap chest fight at the end and it just made my respect for ludwig go way up as i already enjoyed ludwig in the mogul mail but seeing this event and being tuned into it i just can't wait for the second round and even though ludwig didn't win you know his surprise match he won over so many people and though his community was already freaking huge it has to have just grown even exponentially from this but as i said i am very very excited to see what's to come of this and hopefully we get a chess boxing match part two here soon ending this video out and bringing it back to the topic of call of duty we know that wednesday is going to bring us shipment but it's not the shipment that we all know and love it's going to be a reimagining of shipment this reimagining is going to be very much a boots on the ground kind of fight so that means you won't be able to climb on any of the containers and since the holidays they're going to be giving shipment a holiday makeover so you can dock the halls with molly and grenades and set it ablaze this is going to bring us to the end of the video so if you're still here i appreciate you please like the video subscribe turn the notifications on because at 500 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away a copy of Modern Warfare 2. And let me know if you're a fan of just gaming content in general, where is your interest in right now? Is your interest at an all-time high? Is it at an all-time low? Just let me know. Thank you for liking, subscribing, turning on the notifications, sharing with a friend. That way you guys stay caught up on all your leaks, news, rumors, games, and esports. For doing all of that, here is a picture of my dog, Annie. She's the cutest pup in all the lands. She is my pride. She is my joy. I challenge all of you guys, make somebody laugh today, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Yep, nope, not in my house.